We have Mr. Villarreal with us, calling the case of People's State of Michigan versus Christopher Villarreal, file 210632ST. Council, identify yourself for the record. Sarah Bowman, on behalf of the people. Uh, Daniel Duke, appearing on behalf of Christopher Villarreal for the arraignment. All right. Uh, may I address your client regarding the arraignment? Yes, sir. Mr. Villarreal, good afternoon, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, we were trying to arraign you, things, it looks like, in... Uh, in June, and you weren't able to make it. So I think your grandma called and told us that you had been incarcerated. So we're going to take care of that now. I'm going to show a copy of the complaint. That's the name of the document that charges you on a computer screen. It should pop up on your screen about now. Do you see it? Did we lose it? No. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, I'll just read it to you then. The, uh, the allegation is that uh, the that you were driving without insurance. The legal name for insurance is called security. So when I say security, I want you to think insurance. So the prosecutor's office is alleged that on April the 7th of this year, you were driving on M20 in the city and county of Midland, a Buick motor vehicle with which respect security insurance is required and you didn't have it. If you're convicted of that crime, it's a misdemeanor punishable by not more than one year in jail and a fine that has to start at $200 can go as high as $500 plus court costs. Do you understand the charge and the maximum penalty that I've just read? Yes, I do. All right, Mr. Duke, were you able to talk with the prosecutor to see if there was an offer for your client to consider this time? I did not, Your Honor. I did, I did speak to Christopher, though. But if, if there is an offer, you would certainly consider pleading guilty. Okay. Is there an offer, Ms. Bauman? There is no offer in the file. There is one or is not? No, there is not. Okay. Mr. Duke, how, how do you advise your client to plead? I, I believe based on the circumstances, Christopher wanted to plead guilty and get this taken care of while he's incarcerated. Okay. Mr. Uh, Villarreal, is that true? Yes, sir. Okay. Could you raise your right hand where I can see it, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give? Truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it. Yes, Your Honor. You can put your hand down now. Has anyone promised you anything uh, or threatened you in any way to get you to plead to this when you really do not want to? No, they haven't. Are you under the influence of any medicine, drugs, or alcohol that's confusing you at this time? No, Your Honor. If you enter this plea, you'll be waiving the right to remain silent, not have your silence used against you, the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt, the right to a jury trial, or if you, your lawyer, and a prosecutor agree, the bench trial, the right to hire your own attorney or represent yourself, right to confront your accusers, to call witnesses and testify. Do you understand each of these rights? Yes, I do. Do you waive these rights to enter this plea? Yes, I do. How do you plead to operating without security insurance? Guilty, not guilty, or stand mute? Guilty. Is it true on April 7th that you were driving a Buick on M20 in the city and county of Midland? Yes, it is. Well, um, whose car was that? Oh, uh, that was my girlfriend's car. Okay. Did it have insurance on it? Yes, it did. But it did that day? I'm not, I was not on the, I had no proof of it with me. Okay. So there was nothing in the car to show that you had insurance on that day. Exactly. Well, we have no proof of insurance. Uh, here's, here's what the document said from, it said, traffic stop was indicated for a loud defective mu muffler, several lane violations as Villarreal observed driving over to fog line several times. He was contacted and advised he was driving his girlfriend's vehicle and that it did not have insurance. That's what the police are saying you said that day. Hey. What's going on? Well, I didn't have any appointments until five, and I was just going to. So, I'm sorry. That was somebody came into Mr. Duke's uh, uh, area where he was at. So, what, if you told the police officer that didn't have insurance that day, could that have been true? Yeah. Okay. Have I then complied with the court rule and had an adequate factual basis, Ms. Bauman? Yes, Your Honor. Do you agree, Mr. Duke? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. 
That's all right. I find the pleas been made knowingly, understandingly, voluntarily, and accurately. We'll enter records to the court as uh, the charge of failing to have security. Uh, is there any restitution or anything I need to be concerned about before sentencing on this case, Ms. Bowman? No, Your Honor. Mr. Duke, allocution on behalf of your client. Your Honor, I believe uh, Mr. Villarreal has been incarcerated for about 60 days in Bay County. We would just give you, ask you to give him uh, credit for time served and minimum costs. Okay. Sir, is there anything that you wish uh, you wish to say before I sentence you? Um, just that I apologize for not having the correct documentation and just um, driving responsibly. And yeah, I take full responsibility. Okay. Well, I have to say, there's some things that I have to sentence you to. Um, I have to send you to $75 crime victim rights fee, $50 state assessment fee. The fine can be between $200 and $500. I'm going to go, it has to be at least 200. I'm just going to go 200. You've been sitting in jail. So I'm not going more than the minimum amount. I'm not going to issue any other court costs because it looks like you've got your hands full with trying to cover costs while you're sitting in jail. I am going to sentence you to 20 days in jail with credit for 20 days served. You have 21 days to appeal the sentence, 14 days request a court appointed attorney. I cannot make those bare minimum amounts go away, sir. So you're going to have to make some kind of payment plan. Those sure. are ordered to the state of Michigan. I don't have authority to do that. So here's how the system works. Any amount of payments regularly keeps the computer from adding on automatically. We have thousands of cases open. So there's computer programs that just look for a period of time. The payments aren't being made. And then it issues a warrant, which adds $100, and then it adds 20%. So as long as you're regularly making small payments, and that's not just here, that's every county right. in the state of Michigan. So as long as you're making some regular, even small payments, then you will not you will not have the computer adding additional costs to your charges. I understand. Okay. All right. Let's get that taken care of. We'll be adjourned on your case at this time. You need to thank your grandma because otherwise we wouldn't have known you were in jail. Yes, I you will. Get a question. Get a question. One thing. Yes. Um, when would I um, be responsible to start uh, making payments? Well, do you know when you're going to get out? Because I can tell them to wait till you some till you get out. Do you have any idea how long you're going to be there? My, I have an out date here scheduled for August 15th, but then I'm to be transferred to a rehabilitation facility. And how long do you think you'll be there? Ballpark. I'm not. 30 to 90 days. Okay. Um, so Tracy, will we put on here that uh, check in with Mr. Villarreal, if he's not made payments by the end of January, then uh, then start that process. We'll get you to the end of the year, to the end of January. That should get you through the next right. bit. But the best, right. and uh, it's not just here though, Bay County is the same way. So you're gonna wanna figure out a way to make some kind of small payment. It, as long as you're consistent, and you're making payments that keeps it from happening. Most definitely. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We'll be adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trina, do we have? Your Honor, do you have a moment really quick? I do. Step in do chambers. Have... Thank you. We have Corliss case still? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Duke, do you? Uh, Mr. Duke is.